nice to see you managed to get the computer. Now, what's your pleasure? Don't work or home? Alright then, how many people were you thinking? Okay, tell me this. What's your name? Nicely done, let's move on. You wanna make a date for instructions? <laughs> Fine, okay, you will remain instructionless for now. Enjoy that game. where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, it's the re- So, looks like it's just the two of us. At least we won't have to explain any of our inside jokes to anyone. All right, let's do it. Give me a little buzzer action and I'll give you an amount. Here's what we're looking at. $1,000. May I introduce the Star Strangled Banner? You know, I was thinking that it might be nice to start this episode off with a singing of the Star Spangled Banner. So I've invited my cousin Eddie to sing the song for us. Don't worry, he's a professional. But uh, please try not to laugh at him, okay? He accidentally had his testicles bitten off by a Doberman as a boy, and, well, he's kind of sensitive to the... Oh, here... Hi there, Schmitty. Are we all ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah, whenever you're, uh, ready. Uh, what's so funny? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Just a thing I thought of. Okay, whenever you're ready. A one, a two, a three. Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose butt stripes and white stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the rampots we watched were... Oh, no! What words come before in the rocket's red glare? Twilight's last gleaming... Uh, let me, uh, get this for you, Eddie. Twilight's last gleaming flag was still there, bursting in air or gallantly streaming. Trying. That's just stupid. Eddie? Yeah? Get used to it. Well, what the hell is it? Well, there you go, Eddie. Thanks. Gave proof to that night that a bike was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land. Oh, no. Who let the dog in here? Ah! Buzz in for the value. Here's the price tag. 4,250 bucks. This category is known as You May Have Three Wishes and a Side of Fries. Let's go. Suppose Jeannie from I Dream of Jeannie moves into a Heinz ketchup bottle. According to Heinz, how should Major Nelson release her? Pat the bottom with a butter knife. Run the bottle under hot tap water. Tap the bottle on the 57 or jam a french fry up the neck and wiggle it. The number 57 is embossed right on the neck of the Heinz ketchup bottle. To get the tomatoey wine flowing, just tap gently. You know, the only thing that could make Barbara Eden look sexier to me were if she were standing in a big puddle of ketchup. And maybe if she had some liver pate in her navel. Get a value! Let's see what this one's worth to you. $3,000. Let's see what we got going. Doofus the Purple. Forward March. If Eric the Red had named the place he discovered after himself, which of these would be true? The Black Hills would be the Red Hills, the Red Sea would be the Eric the Red Sea, Greenland would be Redland, or St. Petersburg would be St. Eric'sburg. <laughs> Ironically enough, Eric the Red discovered Greenland. He was also responsible for developing the original pilot for Green Acres. Only in his version, a wacky pig teams up with Odin, the god of war, and they ride across the land, raping and pillaging. How about a value? The price tag on this one is going to be $47.50. For your enjoyment, the single guy's guide to women. Last one in is a rotten egg. 
Imagine oh. Sam Malone from Cheers loses his little black book. If he replaces it with a little red data book, whom will he be calling for dates? Suspected communists, endangered birds, most wanted criminals, or aliens? The red data book is a list of the endangered species. I wouldn't date you if you were the last yellow-bellied sapsucker on Earth. Time to pick a value. And here's what you can win on this question. 4750. This one's called, Houses are cheap when you're playing with rubles. Okay, so when you're playing Monopoly, apparently you can only build a hotel on properties that you own, right? In case you haven't guessed by now, you'd be well served to keep that in mind for this one. Say you're playing the Ru inside the Kremlin, on top of Lenin's tomb, in back of St. Basil's Cathedral, or next to the Bolshoi Theater. <laughs> Moscow's Red Square is bordered by the Kremlin, Lenin's tomb, St. Basil's Cathedral, and the Goom Department Store. The Bolshoi Theater is elsewhere. You want to know the coolest thing about Russian Monopoly? The game pieces. They got a bear, a loaf of bread, a nuclear power plant, and a tiny little Boris Yeltsin head. Pick any amount. The amount on this question is 6,500 bucks. Hey, bless smut with Dime Store. It's time for... Make a rich test run. Remember, you're going to get more cash if you can solve it quickly. The opening value for this one is 6500 bucks. Okay, now for this gibberish question, I want uh, I want Jimmy to come in here. Send Jimmy in. All right? Okay, everybody, this is my personal assistant, Jimmy. Uh, what's up? You see, uh, Jimmy owes me a little money, and I figure this might be a way to help pay it off. Okay, Jimmy, could you read this gibberish phrase for everybody out there to rhyme? Hugh Grant, wet butt, plum cologne. And should they ignore the punctuation? Yes, they should. Very good. You'll, you'll never get paid. This is about the 50 bucks I owe you. Just keep reading. You'll never get paid if the person doesn't have the money. Yeah, I don't... Shh, they're playing. What, what do you want, from a blood? Time's up. Look, look, Schmitty, I don't have the 50 bucks right now. No, 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 I understand. Hey, it's like I always say, you grant wet thud plum cologne. Oh. Yep, you can't get blood from a stone, but you can get blood with a stone. Ow. Isn't that right, Ow. Jimmy? Ain't that right? Now, where's Ow. my money? Ow. I want my money. Ow. I'm sorry you had to see that. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Go ahead and pick an amount. The total value for this one is two grand. Open wide and get ready for Tonto Ain't Your Water Boy No More. Ready? Good, we're starting. Considering his much publicized 1985 broken leg injury, what Washington Redskin might have garnered the nickname Dances Badly with Wolves? John Riggins, Doug Williams. My close personal friend Joe Theismann was the Redskins quarterback who broke his leg. And thanks to the magic of instant replay, footage of the bone splintering was shown over and over and over again. Because of his bum leg, he was traded to another team for a couple of sandwiches and some shiny beads. Grab that value. This one comes in at 47.50. All right, give it up for four out of five dentists recommend getting it on. See what you can do with this one. If Meg Ryan and Kevin Kline from the movie French Kiss had gotten pointers from the actors who shared the first French Kiss in a Hollywood movie, who would they have kissed? Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn, Warren Beatty and Natalie Wood, or Anthony Perkins and Janet Lee? My close personal friends Natalie Wood and Warren Beatty were the first to play tonsil hockey on the big screen in Splendor in the Grass. In preparing for their roles, Warren Beatty and Kevin Kline spent countless hours making out. <laughs> Method actors. 
buzz in for your amount. Let's see what this one comes to. 4,250 bucks. Your category is going to be blood is thicker than cocktail sauce. All right, tuck it in. We're moving. Which of these is an actual crustacean that might end up at Red Lobster having to face the music? A jazz lobster, a punk lobster, a swing lobster, or a rock lobster? It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing lobster do up beat up wop do up. Let me show you what I would have picked. What distinguishes a rock lobster from other lobsters is that they're boiled in the sweat of famous rock stars. So don't be surprised if your next meal at Red Lobster tastes like Ted Nugent. Pick a value. And here's what you got. 4,250 bucks. I think it's about time to take care of those pesky insects. You're about to bug out. Try and remember, buzz in when you see a bug that does not belong to the set. And you'll be heading toward a final round value of 4,250 bucks. Okay, take a deep breath, because you're about to see red. Fruits that tend to be red, buzz in when you see one that's not. Actors in the movie Reds. Jim Barney. Diane Keaton. Brian Baby. Shades of Red. Countries that border the Red Sea. Names given to the devil. Members of the Cincinnati Reds, Big Red Machine. <laughs> Leaders of the former USSR. Well, that was good. Not great, but, you know, not horrible either. Go ahead and choose a value. Here's your total value for this one. $4,000. Here we have Carl Sagan, astronomer or cosmic peeping Tom. All right, give me your best shot. What reason would the planet Mars give for being red with embarrassment? I've got a ring around the planet. My moon is twice the size of me. I have more gas than any other planet. Or I'm covered by a see-through atmosphere. <laughs> Mars' atmosphere is thin and transparent. That's why she's feeling a little bit naked. Plus, Jupiter hasn't spoken to her since that drunken escapade at the office party. Go ahead and grab an amount. Here's what we got. 1750. Here's a little something I call Secretary of Defense Grady. Hey, remember Red Fox from the TV show Sanford and Son? You know, the old crusty junkyard owner and his blind dog who fly through the universe fighting crime, <laughs> right? Anyway, what did Martin the Red Fox Van Buren probably yell whenever his bonehead vice president screwed up? Richard Johnson, you big dummy. Thomas Jefferson, you big dummy. Aaron Burr, you big dummy. Or Hubert Humphrey, you big dummy. 
Richard Johnson, a.k.a. Lamont, was VP under Van Buren. Mr. Van Buren, I must let you know that if you do not bring your immediate attention to the trade problem... Trade problem? Yeah, I see that. Looks like you traded your face with a monkey. <laughs> what? Why, I never... Time to choose a value. This one comes in at around 4,500. I'm calling this one Spring Has Boing. All right, put down the Playboy, my friends. You'll need both hands to type because this one is a fill in the blank. Buzz in and type when you know what the hell I'm talking about. If the March centerfold has a red breast, what can we assume the sweet young bird is named? Next time, think about typing this. Let's see. Red breast, bird, turnoffs, people who can't answer simple trivia questions. Yep, it's a robin. Ah, yes, robin. You'll often find her bob, bob, bobbing along. Now you time. Okay, well, this question is worth exactly $32.50. This one's called The Black Flag is Never a Good Sign. Okay, so you know how in auto racing they wave a green flag for go and a red flag for stop? Okay, they don't wave a red flag for stop, but they oughta. Anyway. Considering the country's flag design, where would NASCAR drivers probably drive full speed all the time? Why, it's so simple, it's pure genius. Libya's flag is solid green. Some people may call it boring. The Libyans call it inexpensive to reproduce. Choose a value. Better hold on to your hairpiece. We got big things ahead of us. You're almost through, but first, the attack. Now you should already know all about this. So let's get right to it. Here's your clue. Red hair. <laughs> Excuse me. Hairball. playing with yourself could be so rewarding. You see, this is how those dirty, bad, filthy habits start. Now lean back, close your eyes, and say, You don't know Jack! What are you doing? I'm lonely. Are you? Call me. 1-800-HOT-BOTS. Let's go out. I was up for a night of hot woman on robot action. Well, I got what I wanted. Plus, at the end of the night, my robotic escort really put out. Give me a call, 1-800-HOT-BOTS. I'm waiting by the phone. Plus, at the end of the night, I really put out. Here's on, good buddy. Over. I'm not your buddy. Over. What? Over. Don't call me buddy. Over. Well, why not? Over. I don't really 
they know you. Over. Well, I'm a nice guy. Over. That doesn't make us buddies. Over. Well, can I call you an acquaintance? Over. Yeah, that would be okay. Over. Got your ears on good acquaintance? Over. Whoa, whoa. I wouldn't say we were good acquaintances. Over. What? Over.